Hey guys, this is Brandon with Motion Form, and I'm here today to show you my 3D printing studio where I make all the magic happen. And so I have some basic things, and I'll just show you what I have, show you what I'm working with. You can get started with the 3D printing studio very simply, uh, minus the cost of the 3D printer. And you can also uh, really set it up for what type of work you want to do. So right now, I'm in my second bedroom, I'm about to move, but the idea is you can do this with like a very small part of your apartment or where your space is. Uh, first thing, of course, is to get your 3D printer. This is my my Prusa, my Prusa i3 MK3. And so this is an incredible uh, addition to my family. I, I made a printer before. It was a little harder to move around, but this one I bought built. Um, I have on top of it the MMU2S. So this was an incredible way to have multiple materials. Um, behind here, I have uh, some of my accessories for MM2S, though I don't really use it so much now. There's, uh, I used to have a shelf that sort of fell where I uh, fed into my MM2S. Um, <clears throat> I have my light to focus on my print. Um, I have uh, on top of my, my bed, I have for that, I have my uh, glue stick. If I'm ever going to print something, I need it to adhere really well. I have my my pliers. If I'm taking off little supports, pull it out gently. I also have my, of course, my spatula to move things off the bed. You know, a little quick, real quick. So I guess it'll do it little by little. But this is great for that. Um, I also keep like this is another little. Um, screwdriver just uh maybe if i'm moving a couple things um i keep this really regularly my hex wrench uh for opening or fixing any of my materials because a lot of this is actually the 3d printer is uh using a hex wrench i keep my exacto knife for cutting through uh, any of my material that is needed and i always keep by a little bit of tape i need to tape down my model while it's printing um, and as always, of course, I have my different types of uh, filament, which I place on my shelf right here. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's a great setup, like, you know, wherever I go, you know, if I have a table edge, I can get sort of this sort of set on the same place. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I, it's sort of like a space for 3D printing, but also here's my little, if I'm really trying to get some detail work, I can look at this. Um, you know, the idea is if I'm working on my 3D prints, I can sort of use the 3D printing bed as that element where I'm, you know, if I'm fixing a model or something, but also, you know, I kept like a little space on the side, um, for my 3D filaments, uh, mm -hmm. besides my main sort of PLA, which is good because it doesn't produce any odor. I have my PVC for my two, um, two material print, um, for I, it's soluble, so that's a really great thing if I want to use two materials. Um, and my filament also goes in here. So this is like a little rolling bed that came with the Prusa. It's very simple, but it, it's effective. It stays in there while it comes out. And um, I think that will, will be all. Um, uh, of course, my finishing. So I'm not going to go into my finishing section, but uh, in my studio I also have a place where I have my my different sanding materials. I also have like some paint and I have spray paint um, as well. And pretty much everything from beginning to end, my computer is in another room, but I typically will use the, um, you know, the little SIM cart to get my, my prints going. And so that's my studio very basically. I print, I try to print a little more regularly. Uh, you know, the ideas you want to get into it because, you know, we'd be coming up with ideas for how to print something well, and that makes it uh, even easier. So this is Brandon with Motion Form. I just showed you my studio. If you need some help with 3D printing, you know, ask some questions in the comments. I have an excellent course on 3D printing with SketchUp. I'm coming out with some other courses for 3D printing with different software. Uh, let me know if anything you're interested in. If you like this video and got something out of it, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel for architects, designers, and makers.